museum. Today, we're going to learn heart and soul. Have you ever heard this music before? I have heard this music from movie Big, which is one of my favorite movies. This song is often played as a duet song, but today I arranged it as single player song. So we're going to learn heart and soul and review the chorus, which we learned from last week. Let's see how it goes. Now, if you look at the score, oh, it looks really confusing. Right hand has lots of eighth note and also many eighth rest. And some of the note we don't even recognize. There is so many lines with it. So it's really hard to find it. But that's fine. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it out. Most important thing is you have to know the chord. If you know the chords, then it will be much easier. Now, first chord is C. If you only have C, that means C major. So what is the C major? Yes, start from the C and middle note is going four half step up. So one, two, three, four. And then middle note to the top note is three half step up. So one, two, three. This is a C major chord. That's what this letter C stands for. So first one is left hand C and right hand is literally C chord. C, E, G. If you look at the note, it's just C, E, G. That's it. C, C, E, G. Got it? What about next letter? A, M. What does the A, M mean? A minor. What is A minor? You start from the A and minor is three half step up from bottom to middle note. So one, two, three. And next top note is four half step up from the middle note. So one, two, three, four. This is a minor chord. Yes, yeah, so if you look at the score, left hand is A minor A, C, E, which is a minor chord. Literally a minor chord, you just play it one note at a time. Aha, uh -huh. and what about your left hand? A minor again. What about the next chord? D M. D minor. So the same way. Start from this D and you go up three half steps. This is minor. So one, two, three. And from middle note to the top, four half steps. So one, two, three, four. D minor. So if you look at the score, the second measure start with a D, F, A, which is just D minor chord. Got it? Yes. And what about the next chord? G, but there is no small letters, only capital letter G. It means G major. So G major chord is start from the G and going up four half step up. One, two, three, four. And the next note is three half steps. So one, two, three, G chord. So if you look at the score, that's what it is. It looks like really, really far under the middle C, but if you count from first line is middle C and the space is B, and second line is A, and then another space, so that's a G, B, D. You can read it that way, but if you use the chord, it's much easier. And what about the next chord? The same. C, A minor, D minor, G minor. So C major, A minor, D minor, and G major chord. You just keep playing the same chord over and over again. Let's play both hands together. In slow tempo. Left hand is on C and right hand is first chord is a C2, so C E G. Ready? One, two, three, go. Left hand C, right hand C, E, G. And then left hand is also A 
and right hand shifted down to A minor chord. Do you remember what was A minor chord? A, C, E. So that's the hand position. A, C, E. And next measure, D minor. So left hand comes to D and right hand. D minor chord is D, F, A. The next chord is G, so left hand plays G, and right hand comes down to G here too, G, B, D. G, G, B, D. Again, you repeat it, same thing, one more time. C, C, B, G, A, A, C, B, D minor. is not GBD stepping up. If you look at the score, G, step up, up. That's what the introduction. Oh, but do you know what? I played the rhythm long, short, long, short, but actually it's written in eighth note. as eighth note. Just play it everything as eighth note. And then if you move it on to the melody line comes in on the second line, start with the C, right hand, and left hand is a C too. So basically left hand is exactly the same as previous one, but right hand starts the melody line. The familiar tune. Okay, let's go slow. One, two, three, go. C and C again. And left hand is A, which is come from the E minor. And one, two. And left hand is D. And right hand is the same C, but switching to finger number three from four. Why? So that way you can go up to E. So C, step down. Down. And the next note is B on right hand, left hand is on G. G step up, up, two, and right hand E, and left hand is C. Two, and left hand is on A, and right hand is the same note. C, but switch to two finger number three like this. Okay, the same note. Do you see it? Switching like this. Step down, down, and right hand is stepping up to D, and left hand is on G. Step up, up, two, and right hand step up to G, and left hand on C. Right hand C, left hand on A. One, two. And next to line, left hand is D and right hand A with finger number three. But right after D. A, G, step down. And here is the confusing part. Right hand, you go down to E, but play with finger number three. You have to go this way. Do you see my hand? How I do? Keep holding four and go. The left hand is on G. Step down and right hand on C, left hand goes C, two. And do you see the little line after the C? Yes, connecting the same line. So it's tied. You don't repeat it, you just keep holding and left hand plays and right hand plays after that. That's the 
the first main part. And good news, second part is exactly the same as the first one, except right hand goes up high on treble C, and left hand is exactly the same. So let's go slow. One, two, three, go. one we call ending part now if you see the right hand coming from C scale to up last from the last measure start with the C so C two tied and step up, up after that switch under and you move it on G A and when you play a B add a finger number one on F if you see at the very last two notes and after that finger number one goes down to E and C so the last two notes will be like this you may need to practice this last two measures a lot when you can play it well on right hand by itself and then add it the left hand one, two, three, four, one, and it left in C. Got it? So I guess pretty easy whole entire song except the very last measure. Now let's start from the very beginning to the end in slow tempo, but eighth note as it is. One, two, three, go. Two, 
chords, it's really easy to play it because most of the note is within the chord. And once the melody line started, it's familiar too, so it's easier to recognize the note. Now, when you practice, you just keep holding that left hand. That's easier instead of keep leaving. If you leave, then it's easy to forget your hand position. But if you keep holding it down, your left hand, then you know where it is because it's all within the same hand position. So try not to leave first time when you practice. And also the right hand, after you play it, shift it down and shift it up to D and set your hand and coming down quickly to G. So practice this. possible then try to play the notes that's much effective and once you can play it well then you can may add a swing rhythm what swing rhythm means you just play a long short long short long short long short so it goes what is written on the score. Do you see at the top of the score it says the swing rhythm? Means this rhythm you change to long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short. One and two and one and two and just like a long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, this rhythm. If you cannot do it, then that's fine. Just practice. That's okay too. But if you want it, try it. This way. How is the lesson? Is it really confusing? If you try not to play it fast, then it should be okay. Just first practice the chord position. And once you memorize the position, then start read the notes and you can play it the whole entire song in comfortable tempo then start speeding up and add a swing rhythm later try not to add a swing rhythm from the beginning then it will be really really hard okay i hope you enjoyed this song and we'll see you next time bye